Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about going to your local game store and finding really, really good deals. So I went to a local game store. Uh, it was actually not in Houston, it was in Dallas. I'm not gonna mention the store's name because I'm just not gonna do that and you're probably gonna figure out why I'm not gonna do that a little later. So this is what I found in the commons bulk. So they, this was a store, they had their comic book store, but they also had anime merchandise and they had a ton, a ton of bulk just everywhere. And it's one of those stores where uh, they have magic cards, but they probably don't, they probably don't have like a magic person who knows prices that well. So I was able to pick these up and they were extremely cheap. They were 15 cents a card because they were commons. I, the store, I don't believe carried any more recent stuff. Um, they carried dragons, which I'll show you later in this pile. But for the most part, they just had a lot of older stuff, which was good. And this was a pile of commons I picked up. I did buy a Eternal Masters box from them, so I don't feel too bad because I overpaid for that one. But it's always nice to find a good deal. Visions, 15 cents is pretty good from, a, from the dark. This card is a few dollars, I believe, could be. But they're like very grimy, like, I can't explain to you, but they get, they're very sticky and it feels like someone put like bubble gum, gum on them. So they're not in near mint condition and maybe that's why they're so cheap. But Cabal Ritual, which is seeing a lot of play in Storm. Vintage Storm. Dark Rituals, which is always good to pick up. Again, these were all 15 cents. And they are kind of grimy, except the newer cards. Sands, they are pricey. Promos. They obviously had the Dragons of Tarkir promo, and these are actually clean. The rest of the cards I just showed you are very grimy. And I did pick up some other cards from them. But I'll show you that a little later because they were more, they weren't for 15 cents. Uh, Gitaxin Pro, lots of Gitaxin Pro. I know these cards are expensive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Ten Gitaxin probes for a dollar fifty. Evolving Wild, uh, Wall of Roots, and then Glistener Elf. So. I mean, it feels kind of grimy. It feels like they fell on the floor of a dirty game store, which is probably what happened. But at the same time, it's a really, really good deal. When you can get, get a tax and probe for 15 cents, why not, even if they are a little bit dirty? Mardo of Sands, Dark Ritual, Cabal, Ritual, uh, Seething Song, Serum Visions, and Crypt, and then a bunch of Evolving Wilds. Probably the Evolving Wilds were not like the best deal but 15 cents, I kind of confused them with the Evolving Wilds foil promo, which is pricier. And then these cards were probably worth a dollar each. So if you go to a local game store and they just seem to, they carry magic cards, but maybe they primarily sell other products like comic books, um, you can find in bulk a lot of good deals from, it looks like Moraz and, um, New Phyrexia, so I knew what I was looking. I knew New Phyrexia had Glisten and Elf. I would never have imagined that they had good Taxion probes as well, but they did. And then the Dark Rituals were very good. So it took me about, I would say 90 minutes to two hours. So it wasn't like, probably not the best use of my time given like what I do as a day job, but I had a blast and I'm going with friends um, to do this. And people asking, oh, why are you doing more of these flea market stuff? It's because I'm going with friends. I have a new friend and he uh, really likes going on flea markets. Uh, and we have a ton of them in Texas, like flea markets everywhere. And I, I watch people do flea markets for video games. And that's the same audience, right? They carry magic cards as well. So I can pick up video games as well as magic cards. So it's not a total waste of my time because I can go to a flea market and if they have video games, great. If they have magic cards, great. If they have just random stuff, I'll still probably buy it. Because it's so, like, inexpensive. And this one was from my local store. But the next one I'll show you next next week will be from a flea market again. And I actually have a video of it. It's just kind of like... Like faces, you know? Like, on this channel, you really just see my face. Which is fine, because I agreed to be on video. But 
I don't really need, I need to read a little bit more of a policy of having like people like sign waivers and do I need that or you know, will people get offended if, cause it's a flea market and there's a lot of people's uh, faces in the video, which I should probably not. So I might not post that on YouTube, but I will post my haul, if you will. Anyway, bye.